Hi and welcome back. My name is Vince. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here. So when I first bought my NMN from China, from Alibaba, I had quite a few comments warning me about heavy metal levels, especially from supplements in China. Um, but no indication of what was safe and what was unsafe. So I did some investigating. Let's have a look at what you should be looking for when it comes to heavy metal levels in supplements such as NMN and resveratrol. So what is the big deal with heavy metals? Why can't we ingest them? There are heavy metals in some of the foods that we eat, including fish such as swordfish, tuna, bass and snapper. There are heavy metals in vegetables such as potatoes, celery and cabbage. There are heavy metals even in water. And if we do ingest heavy metals, what are the negative implications? Well, in some cases, ingesting heavy metals can be lethal. I have left links in the description below to the sources that I use to make this video. So please check them out if you want more detail. So we all know that heavy metals can be bad for us, but there's not a lot of data on what is safe and what an acceptable level is. That is even if there is an acceptable level. So what exactly is the problem? Well, heavy metals are now being found in USDA certified organic foods, superfoods, vitamins, herbs, and even dietary supplements. Neither the USDA nor the FDA have set any limits on heavy metals in foods, including organic foods, meaning that products can contain unregulated levels of mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, copper, and even tungsten, while still being legally sold in the United States of America. If this is true in the USA, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's going on in other countries too, especially those where testing and regulation is far less stringent than in places like the USA, Canada, the UK, the EU, Australia, New Zealand, etc. So let's talk about NMN testing. It's just as well that suppliers of NMN, reputable suppliers like Do Not Age, Alive by Nature and Pro Health Longevity, send their NMN for testing to an accredited third party lab and they post their certificates before you as a customer part with your hard earned cash. Now the guidelines I follow when it comes to reviewing a company's certificate of assay or certificate of analysis are as follows. If the company doesn't show any certificates, uh, I, if I was you, I would give them a miss. If they say they have certificates, but none are visible, again, in my humble opinion, I would give them a miss. If they say that they have certificates and they will send them to you on request, again, I give them a miss. If they have third party certificates that were supplied by the first party, again, I would give them a miss. In my humble opinion, these certificates cannot be trusted. So what is the standard? Even if a reputable company like ProHealth posts their results and stipulate, for example, lead content is less than 0 0.5 parts per million, is that good? Is that bad? And where can you go to find out what the actual quality standard is for heavy metals in NMN and resveratrol? So if there is no standard, what is the solution? The industry desperately needs a standard, even a voluntary standard to which products can be compared for their heavy metal composition. To date, neither the USDA nor the FDA have expressed any interest in promoting or enforcing such a standard. So an organization called Natural News Labs has developed and published their own standard. And we will look at these standards in just a moment. Now the Natural News Labs can be a slightly controversial organization. Personally, I don't care about an organization's politics or religion. If they're working for the greater good without a hidden agenda, I will at least listen to them. 
They say that their logarithmic standard is purely voluntary. Companies may wish to use it or not. And individuals such as you and I may wish to use it to measure the heavy metal levels in our supplements or not. I'd like to know in the comments below if in this case you believe something is better than nothing. So I am purely doing this out of interest. I wouldn't say it's a bit of fun because heavy metals in our diet is an important issue and if not regulated could have serious health ramifications. I really believe that there should be a standard but as I could not find an official standard because one does not exist I had to look for an unofficial voluntary standard and this is the only one I could find so I checked it out. If you know of an alternative I would be very interested to see it so please leave a link in the comments below. Please let me know in the comments below if you believe this is a subject that governments around the world should be addressing. So this voluntary verification standard uses a coin or metal system that measures the levels of lead, cadmium, arsenic and mercury and awards an ascending grade depending on how low the levels are. So the lower the level, the higher the grade. The grade or the standard goes from A triple plus all the way down to F. And you can see the full range of grades in the link in the description below. For today's example, we're just going to talk about A triple plus and A double plus. So if you look at the two grades below, if your supplement meets all the standards in A triple plus, then your supplement is awarded A triple plus. If it meets all the standards in A triple plus, except, for example, lead, and your lead score is 0 0.06, then your complete grade will drop to an A double plus. So let's take a look at how some popular NMN suppliers stack up against this unofficial standard. Now the test certificates I'm going to show you next were all scanned on the 18th of July 2020. I'm not going to tediously go through each heavy metal and each score for each supplier. I've already done this. I'm just going to show you the final result. But obviously you're more than welcome to check the scores later. So the first one we'll look at is Pro Health Longevity. And you can see their certificate on the right and their scores. So for lead, they scored an A. For arsenic, A double plus. Cadmium and mercury, A triple plus. But because their lead score was an A, it means that their overall grade is an A. So the next one we shall look at is going to be do not age.org. And you can see this certificate on the right. And on the left, they scored an A for lead. Arsenic was an A triple plus. Cadmium and mercury was also an A triple plus. So even though they scored highly with arsenic, cadmium and mercury, because they scored only an A for lead, their grade is also just an A. So the third supplier we're going to look at is going to be Alive by Nature. Now, unfortunately, Alive by Nature do not post heavy metal certificates of analysis. This is because they say that their method of production differs from others so there is little to no chance that heavy metals will be found in their product. Is this okay with you? I don't think it would be enough for me regardless of the production method. I would like to see heavy metal scores, if only for my peace of mind. Of course, there is no official standard for purity for either heavy metals or NMN. But the acceptable norm seems to be a purity test for both NMN and heavy metals for most reputable suppliers. Now, micro quality labs require a 10 gram sample for testing uh, and it will cost $100. And for that, they will test for lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. Uh, now, I don't think that's too much to pay. What do you think? Now, do you think that Alive by Nature should post their heavy metal scores? Or are we happy to just believe without question that their production method statement is true. It matters not to me as I don't use their products. 
but I would be interested to hear from people that do because I do know that quite a few people who comment on the videos do buy from a lie by nature. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's quickly compare the scores. Now you can freeze this part of the video if you want to compare the actual active levels of lead, arsenic, cadmium and mercury for each of the company's products. The only real difference uh, between Pro Health and Do Not Age was that Do Not Age scored A triple plus for arsenic and Pro Health only scored an A double plus. That said, the actual difference was a mere 0 0.883 parts per million. But we don't really know if that matters or not. So let me know if you know of any official heavy metal standard for health supplements set out by either a government or an officially recognized organization. I would be very interested to learn more about this very important subject. A quick reminder that the discount code MYNMN is still live uh, and there are links in the description below. So it seems astonishing to me that there is no official level for the amount of heavy metals that are contained in our health supplements. Now I understand that many of us may occasionally eat food that contains heavy metals, but most people that take health supplements take them every day. So there's no way of knowing whether those supplements are causing us any harm, either in the short term or in the long term. Uh, I hope this is a subject that is addressed by either a government or an official organization very soon indeed. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.